Hey, hey, good morning. It's Wednesday, we're doing upper body today. I am very sore from yesterday. Is anybody else sore? Yesterday was so concentrated on those RDLs on trying to hit up my, um, my hamstrings. And I did a good job, let me tell you. My hamstrings and my butt are so sore today. Um, all right, let's get started warming up. I just had my chocolate tree biotics. <laughs> They're so yummy. I'm not going to lie. They're so good. Okay, let's let us get started. Oh, okay. I see what I have going on here. That's fine. Okay. All right. Starting with some nice gentle twists, uh, warming up the body easy and slowly starting out with just some gentle movement and um, releasing the spine a little bit, right? And just uh, twisting from the midsection, really reaching and opening up the lower back and starting to kind of bring the heart rate up and drive blood to the working muscles. <clears throat> okay, and then going into some marches. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be painful. The sun is coming out. It was supposed to rain all day today. Um, like copious amounts of rain is what I was what I read, but the sun is actually coming out right now. Anyways, say hi as you're jumping on. Uh, we're starting out with a nice, easy, low impact version of the warm up for round one. Round two, we're gonna add a little bit of hopping, and round three, we're gonna go kind of all in high intensity. Now, having said that, if you're new, if you're joining me for the first time, or if you're just starting into a movement routine, you can keep your entire warm up at low, no impact like I'm doing now, um, and proceed to the higher impact levels as, you're, as you feel ready. Um, I always like to say slow down to speed up. Uh, one of the things, actually I'm talking a lot of it on my social media right now, is cortisol and stress levels, and how a lot of that comes from just this notion that we need to always be pushing, push, 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 more is, you know, more is better, make it happen, like take massive action, like um, push, push, push until you get there. Like the thing is, it's not, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a, you know, a business person and I definitely understand the grind and the, the what's the word? Um, I definitely understand the work hard mentality, but I also understand from experience that it has to be balanced with like a flow state, right? And so what we underestimate is the power of productivity and achievement when in the state of flow where things feel effortless, but it's almost like we have created this world where we, um, we romanticize and glamorize um, being stressed, being busy, um, always grinding, right? Things, it's like, um, if you're not doing that, you're, you're lazy, you're not working hard enough, you're not going to get to where you're going. And I honestly have grown to appreciate that most breakthroughs happen, um, during flow state, during relaxation, during sort of the, the letdown and not the pushing part of the process. And so, you know, there's a, there's a time to push and work hard, but even in the moment when I'm pushing, like I'm thinking about running, but also thinking about business, grind, that's the word I was thinking, like we, we, we value grind. Even when I'm grinding, I never wanna be in a state of grinding, right? So what I mean by that is when I'm trying to um, get the most out of myself, I realize I have to back off. And so the reason why I share that is, and, and to sort of impart that upon you um, as important as a, if you're a beginner is to know that slowing down and taking the foot off the gas will sometimes cause you to go faster to where you wanna be, right? Because resistance slows us down. And when we're in a state of pushing and grinding, there's resistance. Right, and you can't push and grind if you're not, you know, if you're not coming up against something, right? It, when think about it as, you know, trying to achieve your goal by paddling upstream versus going with the current, right? So if if you go downstream with the current, 
it's effortless and you get there faster. And a lot of us, we live our lives in a state of paddling upstream. You know, when you're going downstream, you throw away the oars, you don't even have to paddle, <laughs> right? But at least if you're paddling, you're paddling with flow. And, it, and it's the same when we're working out, when we're exercising, where, you know, often in the beginning, you're like, you're so fired up and excited to, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna achieve this, I'm excited, and we want our results really fast. And so we figure, oh, we'll go all in. And you can go all in um, mentally without physically um, going all in, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if that makes sense, but you gotta trust me on this. You know, a great example is like anybody who runs or works out knows. Baseball is a great example. Like, you know, watch my boys hit their first home runs. Um, my son has, my one, my older son has hit a number of them. Every time he crushes that ball over the fence, it shocks me because when I watched him hit it, he looked like it was effortless, right? So you rarely will see a home run that is like, you know, all uh, the effort. Oh, sorry, I really forgot what I was doing because I was like in my moment there of storytelling. Like, the hardest hit balls looked effortless because we can generate so much more power, figure, literally and figuratively, in life when we can back off, right? When we try too hard, we, we slow down. And so that, that is the case with working out too. It's like, um, it's the resistance. We gotta get rid of that resistance. So like I am super sore today. <laughs> I'm feeling like my glutes, my hamstrings, like everything. And intuitively I'm like, hey, gotta relax the body, gotta relax the body. But instinctively, like you wanna like tense up, right? Tensing up is just causes more, you know, tightness and makes it feel worse, right? Okay, last round. And this is the kind of the all out round. It's gonna really lift those knees get that heart rate up. It's the only cardio we do in the whole session because all my sessions are strength based. We focus on lifting weights because you know my target audience is runners who hate to lift weights and menopausal women who need to lift weights. Uh, we need to build muscle. If we put more effort into building muscle and learning how to eat than tearing ourselves down and not eating, man, we'd be unstoppable, ladies, honestly. But I know for years, I even still fight these voices where you're like, I don't want muscle, I wanna be skinny, right? But the reality is, the more muscle you have in your body, the more easy, the easier it is to maintain a specific size or, or weight um, because the muscle, well, first of all, the muscle is gonna burn more calories at rest while you sleep, right? If I was gonna be working for you, your muscle is like residual income. It's like investments that make money while you sleep. That's what your muscle is. <laughs> Those of you who are financially sound, financially independent, right? You know the concept of compound interest and you know the concept of um, residual income, income that you make whether you work or not, right? How many of you guys are working towards that in your life? And the power of that is, you know, financial independence comes from money working for you. And so muscle is, is, is the body's version of that because your muscle is going to be working for you um, all of the time. Fat does nothing for you, right? It really, that's not true. But really, it's a bit of a freeloader. Fat is a bit of a freeloader on your body. It's, it, you know, it takes up more space than it gives, right? Activity completed. We got one more. Making sure that started. 
man, you guys, I could have skipped this today, I'm not going to lie. Uh, my client last night said she would almost cancel on me, and I almost canceled on her because she was the only one coming. I had, I had a couple of cancellations last night, and I thought, oh, I don't want to train just one person, but I'm going away. I'm leaving for vacation on Friday, and I thought, no, no, I got to... It's not her fault. It's not her fault other people canceled. So I gotta show up for her. So we've showed up for each other. Neither of us wanted to be there. That is the power of community and accountability, you guys, and having somebody who you rely on to do this stuff with. Because uh, when I, I told her that I almost canceled on her, she's like, ah, I wish she did. <laughs> but we didn't, and we got it done, right? So you show up. And you never, there's never a workout that you regret doing, right? Okay, I'm not going to be that creative today, you guys. We're going to go, we're going to do our, our rows. I'm not feeling very creative today. I'm going to kind of use a very similar workout to last Wednesday. Uh, we're going to start with eight rows per side. Okay, so if you have a bench, you can use a bench. If you don't have a bench, you can use the floor, uh, or you could use even like a like a sofa or a chair, and you just you're just gonna like lean on it like this, and you're gonna do your pulls. Okay. I want you guys to make sure that your back is engaged um, and not rounded. So you want to kind of cock, cock your butt, I say, chest is out, and you're gonna pull up to your hips. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. I'm tired today. I am so ready for a reset, let's put it that way, which I'm starting tomorrow. A five day drop, I'm starting tomorrow. We're doing the other side. I'm just taking my watch off here. Um, not because I want to lose five pounds. The five day drop is a program that helps people lose five pounds in five days or more. Um, one of my clients this morning, Nancy, said she lost 10. Sabina said she lost 7. 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Um, however, I'm doing it for inflammation and recovery. Inflammation loss, not inflammation acquisition. I'm doing it to lose inflammation and to promote recovery. And so I'm starting tomorrow. And my body needs it. Okay, we're gonna do overhead presses. You can do this with dumbbells or kettlebells. If you're new, I wanna actually encourage you to do everything with no weights because I want your body just to get used to the movement patterns before you start introducing a load. Um, but those of you, I'm gonna use my barbell today because it's here and it's inviting me to use it. So I'm gonna use this and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna aim for eight. eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And my shoulder did not like that. I have this fuzzy, fuzzy shoulder. <sighs> okay, and then we're going to do tricep. No, we're going to do bicep curls. Yes, we're going to do bicep curls. So we're going to do eight bicep curls. Okay, ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the sun's gone. That was short. -lived. All right, that is round one. That is round one. How are you doing today? Let me know in the comments if you're joining me live today. Who's who's with me today? I have a feeling it's Betty, Darcy, Sabina. My regs. Love you guys. So grateful for you guys for being here. Um, all right, so we're gonna do that two more times. This we're focusing on back and biceps this round with shoulders which I may have to modify if my shoulder feels fussy on the next one. All right, ready? Okay, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side. Really pull that core in, okay? Stabilize the, the midsection with your core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to our shoulder press. Um, starting a 30 day challenge, you guys, in March, it's probably going to start around the 10th. I have to look at the calendar. Um, there's a supplement package that I'm pairing with the 30 day package, sorry, challenge as an optional tool, optional. So you can do the 30 day challenge without buying the package, but I wanna give those who wanna use the package a chance to get their products before we start. So no purchase necessary. It's gonna be a try four, take four. So the try four is what everybody commits to. The take four is the optional add. Let's do our, I'll tell you what the try four is in a second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, that one felt a little better. The try four will be four habits that you're gonna do for 30 days that are gonna help reduce stress, reduce cortisol, manage cortisol, reduce stress, reduce anxiety, and promote, it's gonna be calm the chaos is what the challenge is called, calm the chaos, okay? We're gonna switch these over to hammer curls, okay? So the, the weights are gonna be sideways, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. So type calm in the comments if you want to join the Calm the Chaos 30 Day Challenge. Okay, you're probably like, I'm not calming, committing to anything until you tell me what we're going to do. It's going to take you 15 minutes a day. You gotta commit 15 minutes a day. Plus drink a gallon of water. So the gallon of water, I can't put a time, I don't know how long it's gonna take you to drink your gallon of water every day, gallon of fluids every day. Um, plus five minutes of journaling, five minutes of meditation or visualization, five minutes of movement. So you're committing to um, those three things, which can take you 15 minutes a day. So you could get up 15 minutes earlier would be my recommendation and do them in the morning. You could even split it. You could do two and a half in the morning, two and a half minutes at night. That would be great too. Or you could be a keener and you could do five minutes at night and five minutes in the morning. Anyways, but my thing is like you got to carve out 15 minutes in your day. You could do 15 minutes on your lunch break. Five minutes of movement could be walking. I'm actually going to do prompts all month for it. For the 30 days i'm going to do journal prompts to help you with what to write in your journal i'm going to do um mo like the movement i'm going to i'm going to do five minute you know suggestions and then i'm going to do a five minute guided meditation for you guys i've wanted to do that for so long so i thought this is perfect eight seven six five four Three, two, one. Really lift. Think about back wings. Lift from your back wings. Okay, so that's the that's the challenge, the 30 day challenge. If you want really good results, you pair it with our uplift package, which is four supplements, um, which is, is designed to help manage cortisol, stress, anxiety, mood. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
to pair them together for a 30-day challenge. Um, and, then, and then you see how you feel at the end of 30 days. Hopefully calmer, calm the chaos. Hopefully better mood, more energy. Um, you may lose weight. You can actually pair it with the five-day drop or the, or the diet, um, the nutrition, I'll call it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, shoulder did not like this. Um, so you can just comment calm if you want. I'm going to be launching this on my social media over the next week or so. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, try not to swing them. One. All right. That is round one done. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're gonna go to um, bent rows, like le leaning over bent rows. Um, just trying to decide what I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna use my kettlebells, I guess. All right, so we're gonna start with eight of those. This is gonna be, I'm gonna really feel this in my butt. Okay, so we're bent over, and again, you wanna cock that butt, and you're gonna pull eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're going to go to shoulder raises now. Yeah, shoulder raises. Okay, we're going to do eight per side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're going to do bicep curls this way. So we did one. So let's do hammers, one more set of hammers. Then we're going to go back to these that we started the last set. Just trust the process because you're probably making no sense to you, but eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Because we did two, we started with these, and I decided I'm going to do those with the bar. So we're going to do our last, our next two sets of bicep curls. I'm going to use the barbell. And you're going to go back to bicep curls this way, because we just did three sets of hammers, okay? Back in biceps day today. Lift some shoulders. If you are joining me on TikTok, consider giving me a follow. Follow my account for more workouts. I do this three times a week. You can join me live um, three times a week at 9.30. Um, if you would rather catch the replay at a different time, uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post these workouts right to my, my YouTube channel so you can do them from home. Um, all right, round two. If you're on YouTube, leave me a comment. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. One thing I want you to watch when you're doing these is think of shoulders down. 
What can happen is we can hunch up and we can end up pulling like this. You want to think long neck, shoulders, shoulders down so that you're not doing that. Okay, shoulder raises now. Start with the opposite side if you happen to be on the ball and remember which side you started with. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and we're going to bicep curls with the bar this time. Okay, so I'm going to grab this, make my way over here, and I'm going to do both bicep curls like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, oh, this is heavy, three, two, last one, one, okay. Go one more set of those, and then go to our last set. Is anybody, you guys on Facebook, that, ooh, you guys that joined me yesterday, are you sore? Because I am so, I am like, I'm real sore on my butt and hamstrings today. Uh, my friend Sarah, um, my client who did a similar workout, we, we, I changed ours a little bit. I'm blaming the RDLs from yesterday. I was trying really hard to do them effectively and I definitely achieved that, we'll say. All right, okay, last, last round of this. Eight, seven, remember long necks, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, done those. Okay, on to your shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Bicep curls. Eight, seven, six, tuck those elbows, five, use the core, four, three, two, last one, one, okay. So our last round, we're going to do flies, so back flies. Um, I haven't decided what else yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll do gorilla rows. That's what we'll do. I'm not sure I can do that with these. No, not today. Not today, sir. start with gorilla rows and then we're going to go with flies. Lots of back today. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one other side. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Okay, flies this time. So we hit up shoulders like this. We hit up the front. Now we're going to hit up the back of the shoulder. So lots of hitting up all areas of the shoulder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. You'll feel that in your back as well. And then we don't want to ignore the triceps. So we're going to do eight tricep extensions. You can stand or sit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, two more rounds and we're done, you guys. Two more rounds and we... <sighs> Today's a challenge for me. I am really feeling it today. I can't see comments on Facebook for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm sure you guys are telling me you're here and all that stuff, but okay. If you remember which side you started on with your gorilla rows, start on the opposite side. I like to, you know, keep things sort of balanced here. Oh, all right. <laughs> really gotta psych myself up today. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're gonna do our flies. Working on the back of the shoulder. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just one more set of those. <laughs> Tricep extensions. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Who's feeling this? So Calm the Chaos Challenge will start, I gotta look at my calendar, but probably not the Monday coming up, which I think is the fourth. We'll probably start the following Monday. That way those of you who want to use the Uplift Supplement Package, four things, it's the Tree Biotic, so Pre-Pro and Prosbiotic in one. They're brand new, they, they're chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate probiotics, so good. So there's the probiotics, the Phyto Reds, the multivitamin, and the Uplift, which is um, ashwagandha, shisandra, American ginseng, and um, blood orange as a, as a really potent um, adaptogen antioxidant blend to help with cortisol, stress, mood, all that good stuff, right? Um, and it's, it's paired with the other things for maximum absorption and efficacy, right? So it's paired with the multi, multivitamin, the phyto reds, and the tree biotics. Super excited. I'm, I'm on day three, three or four of this system. Um, 
I'm just super excited about it. For those that used to use the OptiPack, I would say it's going to be kind of um, like that, but but different. Um, I love the chocolate tree biotics. Okay, let's do four on each side. Four, three, two, one. Four on the other side. Four, three, two, one. Back again. Four, three, two, one. And last four. Three, two, and one. So you have, when you order it tomorrow, you get a free box of Revitalize, which I freaking love. And I made this cocktail this morning called the Calm Cocktail. Some people call it Happy Juice. It's the Revitalize and the Reds with the Uplift dumped in. Makes this like super calming, like, um, you know, stabilize, mood stabilizer, but energizer at the same time, like calm energy. Kind of ironically, what we were talking about at the beginning of the workout, the flow, the productive flow, right? That's a good, that's a good phrase, productive flow, right? You gotta learn how to do productive flow, meaning you're in flow state, but you're high achieving. Isn't that the secret, right? Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. So, you know, the idea is to promote, really, productive flow in life, right? To promote, promote the calm, but, but the achieving at the same time. Because you achieve the most when you're in that calm state, right? When you're in that flow state. Like, like a home run. Right, gets hit with a flow. Or the, the guy that wins the race is the guy that can relax through the pain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My son, my oldest son has this beautiful baseball swing. Like he's since he was little, he's always had this. I didn't really know what it meant because I'm not a, mecha a baseball mechanics expert by any stretch, but people would always comment on, oh my God, that swing, oh my God, that swing. And I realized now watching him as an adult, he swings and it looks effortless. And I always think like, it looks like such a lazy, just flowy. How did that flow generate a ball to go that far? And, but that's, if you watch baseball and you see home runs or balls get hit out of the park, in this beautiful flow state, right? That's what we want to achieve in life. We want to achieve this flow state, but high productivity. Love it. Okay, uh, that is it for today, guys. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow for one last workout before I head to Florida. And then next week, I will be coming to you live from Disney World. So, yay. Have an awesome day, and uh, reach out to me, connect with me if you want to do the 30-day Calm the Chaos Challenge. No purchase necessary. You can do it with or without the product package. Have a great day.